Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Come along for the ride. Let's see what we can get done today. Hey guys, good morning. Um, this video is <clears throat> a little different than what I normally do. Um, typically, you guys are pretty much up to date on my day-to-day -day activities. You guys know what I'm doing, and usually I upload the video the night that I film, you know, I'll film during the day, and that night I usually upload, edit and upload the video. Um, if I'm really busy during harvest, plant and season, things like that, it might be a day or two later, but it's, it's usually pretty up to date. This particular video, you will see I'll blow the combine off and everything, and it's it was I spent most of the day blowing the combine off, but me washing the combine actually happened a week later. Um, I was playing the weather. The day I blew the combine off, it was in the 50s, 60s, and I looked at weather and I knew a week later that it was going to be sunny, 70, and a beautiful day, and getting soaking and wet, power washing the combine, and scrubbing it, and cleaning it, and everything. I would much rather do it on a sunny 70 degree day versus 50 to 60 degree day. That's kind of why there's a weak difference here. Um, but at any rate, I wanted to let you guys know that that's why I'm wearing different clothes, you know, yada 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 but um i also want to tell you guys that i appreciate each and every one of you um if you would please hit that subscribe button the like button leave me a comment i want to know where i can better videos for you guys to entertain you better and i don't know that unless you leave me a comment so hope you enjoy the video as most of you know we uh wrapped up harvest done with the beans uh we still have this truck to haul in and then all the beans are hauled in what i need to do is get this truck out of here and get it hauled i need to get the combine out of the barn blow off the combine um reason why we do that is because you blow all the dust and the dirt and everything off the combine and it's easier to power wash at that point because you're getting most of most of the loose stuff off of it first then power wash it and then scrub it and rinse it and you know how it goes um the grain cart i washed that the other day the 8430 that was on the grain cart i washed that uh the other day we the white truck is leaking antifreeze like a sieve we need to get that worked on and figure out what's going on with that and yesterday, if you guys follow me on TikTok and things like that, you know the red truck done me dirty. Yep, that old girl left me stranded on the side of the expressway yesterday, and we had to get it towed back here. Um, don't know what's wrong with it. It. I went down to the elevator, dumped, everything was fine. I was on my way back on the expressway, running 65 miles an hour, and all of a sudden it just shut off. Just shut off and died, and I coasted to the side of the road, and it hasn't been started since. And at first we might have thought it was a fuel issue, but it didn't hiccup and hesitate or anything like that. It's just like someone turned the kill switch on, off, and killed it. Um, it's got fuel in it. We changed the fuel filters. We primed it. We did everything. Still, no start. So, we had to get it towed back here. Yeah, that was a hefty bill. But, it's back here. Now we can figure out what's going on with it. We do have one field that we want to fall plow. Um, it's 15 acres, I believe. Yeah, it's 15 acres. Um, we want to get that plowed up before winter, um, but right now we're trying to get a hold of the landowner to see if he will allow us to plow it, because, as you know, we're coming into hunting season around here, and a lot of these guys are kind of particular about their fields, and they don't want, you know, things plowed under during, just before, um, hunting season. So, 
We might have to wait until after hunting season to plow that field. We don't know yet. We're still waiting to hear back on that. Oh yeah, this thing needs to be washed bad. Look at that. Harvest is always a very dirty time of year for these things. They get so much mud thrown on them, dust put on them, um, just the buildup on them alone. I mean, this is what we're going to be, this stuff here, this is the stuff that we blow off. I have a big leaf blower and I blow all this heavy stuff off because when you power wash this, it like sticks to everything else. So if you blow all this off of it first and then power wash it, it's a lot easier to clean and it's faster to clean. This is gonna literally take a day to blow it off and we'll I'll spend another complete whole day power washing and scrubbing this machine to put it away for winter. Um, it, judging by the weather though, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the thing blown off today. Um, and then next week, it's supposed to be almost 70 degrees. So next week I'm actually going to do the power washing of it because well, you get soaking wet while you're doing it. And I hate power washing in the cold. And like right now it is 35 degrees outside. So yeah, I'm not a cold weather fan. Most of you know that. As you can see, I got the combine way out there. Um, all the doors are on it. All the shields are off of it right now. Now I need to get my backpack blower on, get it started and get that thing blown off. Um, the problem is my backpack blower doesn't, seems like the thing always dies on me halfway through blowing out the machine and I can never get the thing to restart. So. I'm going to go as far as I can with this, and if I have to, I will bring the combine up here and blow it off with the air compressor. We'll see. We'll try and do it with the backpack blower. It's much easier with the backpack blower. Now, this is an extremely dusty job. Um, so I might film a couple little clips of it, but other than that, I'm going to end up putting you guys down and blowing the thing off because it's going to be hard enough working the camera and working the blower and everything all at the same time and stay out of the big dust ball. Well, it didn't die on me. There's a haze everywhere. Could be my glasses. But at any rate, um, sorry, I was switching hands there. Um, I got my glove in my other hand, so it's kind of, I fumbled that one, my bad. Um, there's some like crustier stuff that's on there still. I'm going to pull it up here to the shop and actually hit it with the uh, air compressor to try and flake off some of the bigger crustier stuff um, and then that way it's ready to be washed um, how I normally do it is blow everything off get as much off as I can with the air um, then I go through and power wash it and I'll power wash it with you know just regular water and just power wash it and get all the heavy stuff off 
And then that's when I go through with a garden hose and a brush, and then I brush the thing with soap and water and um, get everything clean, clean, and then do a light rinse so it leaves spot free. Okay guys, I have everything set up to wash this thing. We're going to power wash it to knock all the heavy stuff off of it, get, if you can see the side where mud has flung up on the combine, we're going to um, power wash all this off, get all the heavy stuff off with the power washer. After that, then I go through with just a regular garden hose, brush with soap and water, and brush the whole combine off, rinse it off with the garden hose. That usually leaves a nice spot-free finish. Um, I'm gonna time-lapse this whole process, but because of batteries and how long it's gonna take, because this is an all-day process, I'm gonna film like maybe just this side of the combine and time-lapse just me power washing this side and then I'll time-lapse me brushing this side and we'll go that route rather than doing the entire thing because well I don't have enough battery life to do the whole thing and you guys don't want to sit there and be like oh, okay still washing you know what I mean so all right I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere and we'll go from there filthy dirty mess but there you have it it's uh as it's drying i'm noticing a few spots that i've missed that i've got to redo such as the axle right there that dirt there um i've noticed i'm not perfect at this so something of this size i get some missed spots i really do um it is what it is as like right here see that there I missed that so I'm gonna hit that again and really the it's the only way I can get a really good job is to wash it let it dry kind of see where I missed and hit the areas again things like that um, but overall it's not it turned out pretty good I do need to put the guards and shields back on it and everything, and then we can park it for winter once I get it clean. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Uh, while this is drying, I'm going to go get some lunch and because uh, my tummy's been rumbling. And I'll come back and hit the areas that need to be re-hit again and go from there. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.